Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Variant Manager tool inside Unreal Engine, and more specifically, on how to use this tool to switch between the three canopy options that we have in our project example that you will find inside a 3D Max file. So let's start. I'm going to press G to hide all the tools inside the viewport and then also hide the foliage system that we have painted over our project so it can have a faster frame per second. So after importing the three canopy options we have to make sure that all of the objects inside these three options have been set in their mobility options to stationary. And the reason behind this is that after importing all of them we're gonna make a build and we're gonna make the light basically build the light then if they are in a stationary mobility uh, mood when you switch between them their shadows will not be uh, painted on the floor so for example this is option one and if we switch this option two and option three so there is no problems of any uh, shadows baked on the floor because they are set to a stationary uh, mobility option so to start we're gonna create a folder name this canopy variant options then we're gonna right click and choose from miscellaneous a level uh, variant set and name this to canopy options so we're gonna double click this and if the window open in the middle of the viewport just dock it beside your content browser and let's hit for a variant set and name this as canopy then hit the plus sign to create the first variant set and name this to option one sorry let's just delete the point over there okay so we have option one created then we're gonna drag the can the three canopy options or one by one we're gonna drag actually one by one and once you drag it inside the option one a window will appear and we're gonna choose from it canopy visible so this is basically to set the visibility option for the canopy and we're gonna select this and drag the second one do the same also and the third one so now we have our three variant copies of the canopy and they are actually included into the variant by their uh, parent node so make sure you don't choose all of the static meshes or all of the objects and uh, move them to this uh, variant option okay so the next thing we're gonna define that we need option one to be visible and we're gonna right click here and apply record value and for the option two we're gonna disable its visibility and right click and apply record value the same thing for option three disable and apply record value so let's duplicate this variant option and name this option two now we're gonna disable the visibility for option one and for option two you wanna activate the visibility because this is where we want option two to appear and for option three just gonna right click apply the record value okay so before uh, starting to switch between uh, these options let's make sure that they are visible in our viewport so if you switch option one and option two now we can see that we have uh, a variant uh, switch for option one and two let's duplicate option two and name this as option 03 and the same thing we can activate the option uh, 03 and we're gonna disable the visibility of option uh, 1 and 2 make sure that we apply the record value and let's see now we have option 1 option 2 and option 3 so basically this process will help us and the client or whoever responsible for the design to have a different type of options for our for a different actually um, design components 
in our example here we have managed to have uh, three options for this canopy that was roughly designed just for the sake of demonstration of this uh, tutorial and uh, once you have the variant actually established you can uh, take advantage of this uh, tool in terms for example of uh, rendering uh, the three options or for example in the cinematic view uh, the cinematic uh, the levelic sequencer that we have established early, earlier to produce for example uh, three sets of videos for each option so it will help the responsible parties to, to make a decision regarding this and this can be applied actually for uh, other stuff in your uh, project so let's say for example we want to do the same thing here for these uh, three walls so I'm going to move them to our, to our new folder and let's call these uh, stone wall uh, let's say for example option 01 and let's duplicate it also by pressing Control w and let's come in option uh, 2 for example and let's change the material and go back to the basic folders this is a little bit tricky so we're gonna hit the search button to reach to that material and go back to our three walls and change their material okay so if we hide these the option one we can see that we now have another uh, type of material for these uh, three walls so let's create another uh, variant set for these uh, wall options. I'm going to go to the variant manager and right click and create, sorry, I'm going to press on the variant set and name this as wall options. And press on plus sign and name this as wall option 01. This can be anything actually inside your model. In our uh, case, we have uh, chosen this wall. Okay, so we need to drag uh, these walls inside our variant set to switch between them. So if you drag the folder now to your uh, first option, for example, nothing will happen. So there's uh, different ways to do this. Uh, you can drag uh, the three of them, or for example, we can do another trick by pressing, choosing these two and move them, attach them to uh, the first object. And this can be also uh, done inside 3D Max if you attach these uh, three walls together to be a single object. Many ways to do this. Uh, you can choose wh which one is easier for you. So I'm gonna drag this inside uh, our variant set. I'm gonna go down to static mesh component visible and select. And for the other options, move attach these to the first object and drag it to our variant set for option one okay so we need our uh, first wall uh, material option to be visible so I'm gonna right click apply record value and for the next one we're gonna apply a record value of uh, no visibility for it so duplicate this again let's say for example this is uh, wall option 0 2 and I'm gonna disable the visibility and apply the record value same thing also for sorry for the, the other wall I'm gonna apply the visibility activated and apply the record value so if we choose the first uh, variant set you can see also we can switch between the wall options and have a different um, options for our presentation and our presentation for the client for example in terms of many items and your uh, many objects or many design uh, criteria inside your project uh, in terms of a material in terms of even um, a geometry like the one we have here in the canopy and make sure if you're uh, switching between something like for example for this canopy um, shading option 
that uh, the objects should be made as a stationary mobility so the, uh, the shadows will not be stuck on the floor after the lighting being have, uh, have finished. And also, have you, as you have seen, that for example, the first canopy was composed of many objects and the other two was only from two objects. So this will give you a heads up and inside your modeling software when you start uh, planning for this in, in your uh, presentation that you can have a, a let's say for example a, a better uh, solution uh, for these objects or for the uh, switching between the objects to have a simpler way to do it. So um, this is now our way of showing how the variant manager will work between for example the canopies and also for switching between materials inside uh, uh, specified items in our uh, project example. Uh, we can export now uh, our animations or our renders with these three uh, or these um, three options and also we're gonna use this variant manager and the um, in one of the our upcoming videos when we start uh, building our real-time uh, presentation where we're gonna uh, build a UMG uh, a panel where we're gonna have interactive buttons to uh, switch between these in a real-time presentation so I hope this video has helped you to understand uh, a better way of uh, how to use the variant manager and our uh, project example. If you have any questions or if you have any other, uh, a different way to do this, please share it on the comments. We, are, uh, we appreciate uh, your feedbacks and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.